is quarter to 10 at night. We've finally got to our destination here at Wadi Rum Camp. Look at the beautiful little dinner spot that we've got behind us. So it was a full day's traveling. Um, we had to get up early and then be driven uh, to get onto the boat, which you saw earlier. Uh, and then, yeah, we're in the desert for the night. So tomorrow it'll be nice to actually be able to see the scenes because when we arrived, it was dark. But yeah, I'll show you a little morning sunrise if I get up absolutely knackered by this point. So we have just woke up in the Wadi Rum camp and we finally get to see the sights. Look at that. So we're just going off for breakfast. Then we're going off to the 4x4 Jeep ride. That is freezing. But if you look at the sights. Hello, Papa. How cute. I'm so excited. Ooh, Woo. You're going to be bouncy on the back, mind. Bouncy yeah. Bouncy yeah. <laughs> So cool! The Wadi Rum! She's not bad! She goes right! So it looks beautiful out here. However, I am double, triple layered everywhere. Three, two, one. <laughs> Faisal, I'm the tour guide for Travel Talk in Jaro. Welcome to Adiram, welcome Thank to Jaro. Thank you. Ahlan wa So just looking at these camels here, it's actually nice to see how much better um, the animals and the camels especially are treated here. off to Petra um, which is really exciting we're gonna go see the treasury and things um, so yeah I definitely recommend this for your trip it is honestly a must-do when you come to Jordan it is just so amazing and yeah words can't describe so we have just got off the bus and then this is the full view Petra Valley apparently is the second best view in the world. What the first best view in the world is, I'm not sure. No idea. So we are headed somewhere that way. It's freezing right now. There was snow here yesterday. You can see little bits of snow sitting on the edge there. Thank you. 
this. There's like a little gift shop that was right by like this viewpoint. So you can just come up onto the roof. So just behind me here, we've got a Crusaders castle. This is from the first crusade, which if you're not exactly a history buff, there were three crusades basically where people from Europe came over here and tried to take over the Holy Lands um, to take them from the Muslims and they failed so the three crusades they failed um, and then they kind of gave up after that because they just kept getting killed so I probably served them right to be fair so once upon a time where we are right now where this castle was actually built on was all underwater this was the ocean and we actually keep finding fossils which is really cool like little snail fossils shell fossils but like it's really crazy to think that once upon a time like, this is how high the ocean was this used to be under the sea before it was uplifted so that's why there's seashells in it it would have been much much lower down this is how high the ocean was. All of the limestone and all the fossils that were found is because of earthquakes that have turned around and pushed it up. Yeah. So it's been really cool to see like the shepherds and they shift like their sheep. They might be goats. We've got the dogs that wander so like keep them safe and obviously keep them all in the same area. You can see the little pups. back at the hotel in Petra. Fortunately I cannot go explore until I have got this assignment sorted so I've finally got to a hotel that the Wi-Fi is actually connecting, actually loading which is so good. Hopefully I can get this all wrapped up so tomorrow I can just enjoy my day and enjoy the rest of the trips which is amazing so So I have just entered Petra, um, I actually had a sleep in this morning from the rest of my group purely because I had to submit my assignment last night so I was up to about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning doing that. One thing that I do note, especially here in kind of your Middle Eastern countries, is how objectified women are. Jordan's a lot better than Egypt. It is something to note that if you are travelling alone, especially as a female, you will be whistled at and catcalled like I was just then. Um, walking past all those men with the horses, which meant I didn't whip this out. I am just walking towards Petra. Someone's about to approach me again. Probably I had about 20 people come up to me and go, you want to go to the view? So we are just coming around the corner, I can see the treasury up in front of me. I want you more than my name. I wanna float on downstream. Go and find my wild I have arrived. Yeah. It is super busy, so apparently all the tourists tend to disappear kind of by about mid-afternoon because most people do not stay in Petra whereas we are. So I'm kind of intending on coming back here a little bit later in the afternoon when it's a little bit quieter, that's when I'll go to the viewpoint and hopefully catch less of the tourists. I'm just going to carry on kind of walking down, um, just kind of see everything else for a bit, but kind of one last glance. So I've just finished having lunch, did manage to catch up with the other guys who were just tucked in behind me, the old head scarf's come off, it's actually a bit chilly, I know it looks warm, it's a bit of a cold breeze coming through, 
up the monastery, I think it's about a half an hour walk, so I'm not sure if we'll make it all the way to the top, but apparently there is an amazing view there. But yeah, you can get a ride, donkey ride up the monastery if it's easier. Um, I'm not sure what it costs, but yeah, you've got, kind of got those options if you didn't actually want to do the trip yourself. Go on, give us a wave. Oi. I'm just at the top of the monastery and I just took the most beautiful photo where it's kind of you go in the cave sort of thing it's got an opening and it looks out perfectly on the monastery behind you I had read in the Jordan Lonely Planet book that afternoon it starts to get a lot quieter in Petra and so far walking down this hill from the monastery I can confirm that it's correct. This spot here was super packed on the way up and you can kind of see the difference of like the crowds have just cleared. You'll walk in and they'll approach yep. you to bring you to the spa. Yes. And this is like the known like Instagram spa. Um, but it's really good. They, you know, it's nice to tip them. So, you know, give them some uh, money when you come up here. Well, so, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Petra. Welcome to Alaska. <laughs> and we've just arrived at the Dead Sea. Then uh, you've also got mud, which is supposed to have like good properties for your skin and things. So yeah, we're just about to walk down uh, and then we're gonna pop up and have lunch back at the, this hotel here around us. <laughs> for this and it should be good. So this is the Dead Sea everybody. It is so salty that you can float as opposed to float anywhere else in the world. <laughs> I'm not sure if you just heard that whistle go up. And it was too far out in the water. <laughs> just behind me here we got some lovely models putting on the mud. So it's a little day at the spa for the ladies. Delicious. Yeah, we are in the garden. So just had a shower to semi wash off. The mud those behind me. I think I'm gonna head up because that shower's cold. I have a warm shower, get the rest of this off, get changed, go have lunch, and yeah, sit on uh, towards the hotel. So it should be good. So that is Dead Sea done. Is it a must do? Mm, it's an experience. If it's cold and if it's windy, I mean, it could definitely be something that you skip if you're ever doing the trip. And you get it in your eyes, it stings so much. So just be aware of that. Have some water handy, have a towel handy and you'll be good to go. This food, banging. What was it? 18 pound? No, 18. 18 dinar. 
18 diner, like 20 pound, and it is, is good food. The only downside is they have to serve it for you, which means I can't be a fat pig and shove loads on my plate, but it's fine. <laughs> so we have finally arrived in Amman. We are just stopping at the city citadel. The Romans were years ago. Right now it's freezing and it's slightly raining, but it does give you a nice view of the city. So fun fact, sponges are a real animal. <laughs> Sorry. Basically, the rich Romans that used to live here, they had no toilet paper, so they used to wipe their bums with a stick and a sponge on the end. So sponges are animals. My mind's been blown. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I think that's the prayer going on. Crazy. <laughs> the rain. Beautiful. Thank you for I'm still cold. I know supper. So I feel like I best round off my trip because I seem to have forgotten to do that in Egypt. This is my room, which I have all to myself. Not bad, last shindig. I just ordered myself some delicious room service. I mean, I hope you've enjoyed um, both this vlog and the last. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. It's actually been a lot of fun and I've really enjoyed it. So I hope you all enjoyed it too. So bye.